The Lost Queen by Anne Stott. The Life and, Tra the Life and Tragedy of Prince Regrant's Daughter, um, Princess Charlotte. Um, you get primary text placed throughout, like, a, like in a lot of um, history books that you'll likely pick up. Um, so you get like a lead up to her birth, um, her actual birth of like, well, what's out there about her, about it, um, custody, education, um, being away from her dad, um, Napoleon's war, um, her isolation at 19, so like moving away from London, um, her like engagement to Leopold, like in their relationship and everything. Um, her death, like a bit of uh, what happened to Leopold afterwards. Um, so you do get like a okay amount of um, primary and secondary sourcing in the bibliography, which is good. So if you do have an interest in her or like her family or whatever, um, you can go to and use the sourcing that um, the author um, has used. So like you get a list, um, like I find this nice, like at the beginning they list the um, people that like will either like who she's connected to or like will be mentioned in um, in there and like um, the author's categorized um, them, like other relations, foreign royalty, um, her grandparents and so on. Um, so you got like family tree, which can also be very helpful. Um, so there's a few different family trees and like for this, a few authors do this, they use abbreviations. So um, throughout the task, they don't text, they don't use the complete word, they just use a few letters. Um, So her parents, um, like it, sometimes they will be like a good description of stuff, of, um, of things that went wrong, mentions of, um, stuff, so like italicized or like you'll get quotes, um, so when you do get um, either primary or secondary sourcing, like images or photographs, which um, can be um, very useful as well. So yeah, The Lost Queen, happy readings.